Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gaming here. Now this video is going to be about comparing DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. The reason I want to experiment with this, I just want to see how much performance you use for using DirectX 11 over DirectX 9 when possible and also how much of a difference there is between the visual quality. And the games I'm going to be using for the test is Codemasters Dirt 3 and Crytex Crisis 2. What I'm basically going to do for the test is play through a small section of the game in DirectX 9 mode then repeat that same section as identical as possible in DirectX 11 mode. Then I'm going to put both videos side by side so it's easy to compare the differences between performance and visuals. Before I start the test I'm going to quickly go through my specification. I'm for the CPU I'm using an Intel 3570K which is overclocked to 4.6 GHz. For the motherboard I'm using an ASRock Xtreme 4 Z77 motherboard. For the graphics card I'm using an AMD XFX Reference R9290. This particular R9290 has got an EK water block installed which is also overclocked to 1200 MHz on the core and 1600 MHz on the memory. I'm using 8 GB of Corsair Dominator DDR3 that's running at 1600 MHz with a latency of 88824. Um, the power supply is a Corsair AX860 with a platinum efficient rating and I'm using a OCZ Agility 3 SSD so that's basically it for the specs now. Um, let's move on to the first test which is Dirt 3. So these are the settings I'm going to be using for the Dirt 3 comparison. Um, 1920 by 1200 which is the resolution, 8 times MSAA. I'm going to be using the Ultra Detail preset. So I'm going to quickly scroll through all of these so you can see. And I've did the same for DirectX 9 as well, so both games are running maxed out. As you can see there's not much of a difference when it comes to visual quality, but in DirectX 9 you're pretty much consistently getting 20 frames per second more than when you're running the game in DirectX 11. So you really got to think about for that 20 FPS that you're losing, what are you really gaining? I mean, just judging by the eye, I can I can't see a difference. So, if you're someone that's using a low-end system and you're struggling to keep decent um, frames per second, say around you're hovering around 40 FPS may want to just play the game in DirectX 9 mode because by the looks of things you're not really going to be missing out on much and you're going to be gaining some performance as well. Obviously with a card like the R9 290 it's pretty much overkill and you can run it as high as you want. Probably even at 4K you probably still get over 60 FPS. So. For this card it's not a problem but if you're using something like an APU or some onboard graphics from Intel then it's probably something worth doing.
here are the settings I used for Crisis 2 1920 by 1200 resolution, Ultra system specification, DirectX 11 enabled all settings are on Ultra and high resolution textures are used for DirectX 9 I literally just disabled DirectX 11 and ran both games maxed out Crisis 2 is a bit of a bit of a strange one, usually when you uh, use DirectX 11 over DirectX 9 you find that you lose a bit of performance because uh, of the extra features like tessellation etc but with Crisis 2 um, you, in some cases you actually gain performance um, so it's a bit strange actually visually there isn't really much of a difference in certain areas of the game but I'm gonna be showing some still shots of the game so you can have a direct comparison because when you're moving around it's not that easy to tell but by the looks of things when there's a lot of action going on this is our chance. The this is game is run Forget pretty equal in terms of performance. Go get samples from the crash. Get them to me here at the lab. This could be our best shot at rolling back the spore. May maybe the whole invasion even. But you better make it fast. Lockhart's going to have cells swarming all over that crash site. Nothing flat. Watch your ass, Prophet. Reach the crash site and obtain some more tissue and spread for gold. too much of a difference between DirectX 9 and DirectX 11 in this section of the game. You can see a bit of improvement with some of the bricks on the floor. They look a bit, they've got a lot more tessellation detail added to them. Immediately I can see that the water quality is a lot better and you can also see the tire tracks in the gravel have been raised because of tessellation so there is actually an improvement in graphics, graphical quality with the um, Crisis 2 so that's a good thing and you don't really lose any performance as well so it's definitely worth running this game in DirectX 11. Okay, now moving on to Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0. Um, these are the settings I use for the DirectX 11 mode. Quality is at Ultra, Tessellation is at Extreme, AA is at 8, and the resolution is 1920 by 1200. And for the DirectX 9 mode, the quality levels at Ultra, AA is at 8 again, and the resolution is at 1920 by 1200. Only difference is tessellation is disabled because that's a basically it's a DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 function. So this is a best case scenario: DirectX 9 versus DirectX 11. Uh, the Unigen Heaven benchmark takes full advantage of uh, DirectX 11 and all its features like tessellation. So you can see a clear visual difference between um, the two modes and it also doesn't really impact performance that heavily either.
So as you can see, DirectX 11 clearly improves visual quality when it's done correctly. So if you're in the market and you're planning on buying a graphics card, it's definitely best to get one that supports DirectX 11 and above. Of course, most games nowadays don't actually give you the choice of choosing between DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. guys on a whole DirectX 9 is a little bit less power hungry than DirectX 11 but um, when done correctly DirectX 11 is definitely um, better looking in some games it's not very apparent but on a whole DirectX 11 is definitely the way forward and I'm definitely excited to see what new features DirectX 12 is going to bring to the table so I'll definitely be doing a video on that when that's available. Anyway, this is a uh, bang for that PC game, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a interesting comparison for me, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>